Hi everyone, uh, for today's contribution to Five and Five, I wanted to introduce you to the Anchor app. Anchor is an app that's completely free of charge that helps you to create podcasts. Um, as you know, we launched the Patna Pod this year, but podcasts are not something that are just for adults. They are an amazing way for students to present their learning and share their understanding on a topic. They can conduct interviews with one another or with experts or family members. And then this app will allow you to publish it to Spotify, which is really fun and engaging for the students. So it's anchor.fm. Um, and then you can log in just with your Google account, which I'll quickly do. I just want to show you around a little bit. It'll take you to a, a dashboard area where you can set up your podcast. You'll be able to give it, put some artwork in, give it a name and decide whether you want it to be public or not. Um, and then in terms of creating the episodes, it's really quite simple. So we go in here. It has the feature where you can record straight using the um, app itself or um, so you just talk into your device or if you've taken other audio somewhere else, um, maybe on your iPhone or another device, then you can add it into a library and upload it and then uh, drag it across. What's also really cool is it has this area just called transitions where it has little sound effects and things that really up the production value. So if you're a podcast listener, sometimes you'll hear different beats and sounds between uh, natural breaks in the conversation like this one. So again, if you want to use one of those, you just press the plus and then you can pop them in and arrange them around your audio, which really makes it sound like a professional uh, podcast. After that, you click save episode and then uh, you have the option to add episode artwork and download it straight to Spotify to be listened to publicly. Um, I know that Tanya down in uh, the primary school who is, works with some of our extended learners has been doing some fantastic work with them and they're really excited to have recently published their first episodes. So if you would like to have a go with your students, it's a really fun and novel way of assessing their learning. Hello everybody, welcome back to Friday 5 in 5. Thank you Cindy for your Anchor app. My first tip is all about wireless displays. Maybe you want to connect to your interactive whiteboard wirelessly or any other displays in the school wirelessly. And it's a keyboard shortcut, Windows K. If you press Windows K, it will go off and search all of the available displays that you can wirelessly cast to. I have none in my house. Um, my second tip, I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea what the name of this icon is. Maybe somebody can share it with me. But when you hover over the icon, not click on it, it gives you an option to actually move your displays around. So, for example, I could click on this and it will take my display to there. And then it will, it will ask me, what would you like on the other side? So maybe I want my inbox there. So, for example, you could have your inbox here and your calendar on the other side. So let's say if I open up my calendar on the other side, hover over this icon, and move it to this side. Uh, it's not necessarily the best way of viewing it. Maybe I just have a day. Look, there's today. So I've got my um, email here and my calendar here. So just hover over that icon, have a play around with it, familiarize yourself with it. I think it's very cool. All right, next, I'm just going to go to Edge because I'm always talking about Edge. I think Edge is the best browser. Uh, if you're still on the dark side of Chrome, come into Edge and have a play around with it. Uh, here's uh, a couple of functions just to pull you over. One of this is QR code. Quite often I'm sharing things uh, with parents or people in the room, and I just pull up the QR code and they use their device to capture that web link so that I don't have to email it to them and things like this. So when you hover or when you click on here, it gives you an option to pull up a QR code and that will send you a QR code to that particular website. You can download the QR code as well so that you can then paste it into other areas. That's a nice feature. And my last tip is the read aloud function. So we've got the daily notices. If I uh, click on somewhere, anyone here, and I, and I can go for read aloud. Uh, when I click the read aloud, staff notices. it's gone to staff notices. Look, you can't see that. You probably, maybe you can't hear that because of my microphone. But if I start here, it will Happy say, birthday, Torres. No, if you can hear that. VPS library survey. It's not bad, actually, as well. And I can change the voice options to be all of these different accents. Okay. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend.
Bye-bye.